traffic, neighbors, and even noise coming from different environments in the same home affect our level of enjoyment, comfort, and general well-being. This is why Texa has created TechSound, a high-density and viscoelastic synthetic soundproofing membrane that provides exceptional acoustic insulation in traditional construction systems with almost no increase to wall thickness. Its high degree of flexibility and its stretching ability capacity enables the product to adapt to any shape or surface, greatly facilitating installation. With regard to combustion properties, TechSound is the only acoustic membrane on the market to bear a Euroclass certification and, what's more, with an excellent rating, Euroclass B S2DO. In other words, its contribution to combustion is very limited, and it does not release burning droplets or particles. Available in different weights, in a self-adhesive format, with specific dimensions for gypsum plasterboard, or in combination with a sound-absorbent fiber, TechSound offers solutions for any construction system. Homes, hotels, stores, offices, meeting rooms, coffee shops, restaurants, discotheques, cinemas, and recording studios around the world have chosen TechSound as the best acoustic insulation. TechSound because silence does not steal space. TechSound SY and TechSound SY band for acoustic insulation on dry partitions. First, prepare the metal frame so as to form two identical and completely independent structures. Apply TechSound SY band to the tracks, allowing a 2 cm overhang on the side to which the gypsum plasterboard will be attached. This will prevent the plasterboard sheets from resting directly on the base and avoid the formation of an acoustic bridge. Install the tracks in their designated location, leaving a minimum separation of 5 mm. We recommend that the support base upon which each structure rests also be independent. So as to prevent the transmission of vibrations from one structure to another, it's very important to avoid any contact between them at any point. Place the studs every 60 cm. If the room height is greater than 2.5 meters, reduce the distance between studs to 40 centimeters. Attach the studs to the tracks by making an indentation on the contact points. Apply TechSound SY band to the studs on the side that will be in contact with the gypsum plasterboard. Attach the gypsum plasterboard with screws from the outer face of one side of the structure. Make sure the plasterboard is resting on the TechSound SY band that has previously been left protruding from the tracks. On the opposite side from where the plasterboard is attached, fill the space between studs with mineral wool. Close the partition by butt joining the gypsum plasterboard. Seal the perimeter and joints on both sides of the partition with jointing compound. To apply the acoustic insulation vertically, first peel away a 5 cm portion of the silicone coated plastic. Place the acoustical membrane on the upper part of the partition and adhere the portion that has been peeled back. Confirm that the membrane falls parallel with the plasterboard sheets. Then continue to remove the silicone covered plastic and press down on the entire surface area to ensure it is completely adhered. Repeat the operation until the entire partition is covered overlapping the strips of membrane by 5 cm. To prevent the overlapped areas from increasing in thickness, a lengthwise cut can be made and the excess material removed. Last of all, clad the partition with another layer of gypsum plasterboard and seal the joints and perimeter with jointing compound. TechSound 2FT as acoustic insulation on brick partition walls. Cut the rolls of TechSound 2FT crosswise and in lengths equal to the height of the room to be insulated. Using a short nap roller, extend a coat of contact adhesive on one of the faces of the acoustic complex. It's important that the entire surface be covered evenly, particularly in the overlap area. Also apply a coat of adhesive to the partition, covering an area equal in size to the previously coated piece of membrane. Once the recommended drying time has elapsed, apply the strip of TechSound 2FT membrane vertically and with the adhesive coated side facing the partition. Beginning always at the top, press on the entire surface until it is fully adhered. Repeat the operation until the entire partition is covered, carefully observing the overlap areas. 
Finally, build the brick partition. It is not necessary to leave an air chamber between the Texhound 2FT and the brick partition. Another method of applying Texhound 2FT consists in attaching the product with PVC rosettes. To do this, bore a hole through the felt fabric and the insulating membrane. Insert the rosette in the hole and then the rivet. The number of rosettes used will depend on the weight of the product being installed. Generally, four rosettes per square meter are sufficient. TechSound FT and TechSound SY as acoustic insulation for ceilings. Cut the rolls of TechSound SY crosswise until the number of pieces needed to cover the framework is obtained. Using a short nap roller, extend a coat of contact adhesive to one side of the felt. Also apply a coat of adhesive to the framework, covering an area equal in size to the previously coated piece of membrane. Starting from one of the corners, press down on the entire surface area of the product until it is completely adhered. Repeat the process until the entire surface is covered, overlapping the strips appropriately. To ensure complete adhesion to the support, we also recommend that PVC rosettes be applied. Generally, five rosettes per square meter are sufficient. This ensures the adhesion to the support in the event that the adhesive properties deteriorate over time. Once the acoustic complex is fitted to the structure, place the adjustable supports. The number of supports required will depend on the weight of the acoustic ceiling. As a guideline, they should be placed every 30 or 60 centimeters. Adjust the height of the supports to leave a distance between 150 and 200 millimeters between the framework and the ceiling. Install the necessary structure for supporting the acoustic ceiling. The larger the air chamber, greater the level of insulation. Place mineral wool inside the framework. Apply TechSound SY band to the entire perimeter of the acoustic ceiling so that the plasterboard sheets are not in direct contact with the walls. Screw the first layer of plasterboard to the framework. Seal the perimeter and joints with jointing compound. To adhere TechSound SY to the second layer, extend the roll lengthwise on the plasterboard sheet, ensuring that one centimeter extends beyond every side. Gradually peel away the silicone-coated plastic and adhere the membrane ensuring that it remains parallel. Screw the plasterboard sheet to the ceiling with the membrane facing the inside. Repeat the process until the entire surface area is covered, placing the sheets in discontinuous butt joints. Finally, seal the perimeter and joints with jointing compound. Texilen Plus as acoustic insulation for floors. Extend the roll of Texilen Plus lengthwise in the space to be insulated. Where the material meets the walls, bring it up a minimum of 10 centimeters. Also overlap the strips of Texilen Plus a minimum of 10 centimeters. Seal the laps with conventional adhesive tape. A 4 to 5 centimeter thick compression layer of reinforced mortar should be poured, covering the entire surface. When the mortar is completely dry, proceed normally with the installation of the parquet. TechSound FTAL as acoustic insulation for drain pipes. Measure the circumference of the pipe to be insulated. Cut the roll of TechSound FTAL crosswise to obtain the required number of pieces to cover the full length of the pipe. All joints must overlap a minimum of 5 cm. Starting at the bottom, wrap the pipe so that the felt is against the pipe. Fasten the membrane with cable ties every 20 cm. To avoid vibrations, make sure the felt is in direct contact with the entire pipe surface. Seal all the joints with aluminum adhesive tape. In addition to providing excellent fire protection, the TechSound FTAL aluminum finish gives the product an appearance that, left exposed, works well in many spaces. If preferred, the drain pipe can be covered by a masonry or plasterboard partition. TechSound as acoustic insulation for metal decks. Unroll the TechSound perpendicular to the metal panel ribbing. 
Make sure that the silicone coated plastic is on the upper part. This will allow for easy removal. Overlap the strips by at least 5 cm. By installing tech sound on metal decks, you obtain a high level of insulation from airborne and impact sound, such as from rain, hail, or wind, while it also acts as a vapor barrier. Stagger and attach the Isladec BV panels preferably parallel to the panel ribbing. Attach the fastening system directly onto the thermal insulation, screwing through the metal panel and ensuring it is completely immobile. The fasteners must be placed 10 centimeters from the perimeter of the insulation panels, and never on the edges nor between panels. The waterproofing membranes must be placed starting at the lowest point of the gradient and perpendicular to the panel ribbing. The fasteners must be attached where overlapping occurs and every 20 or 25 centimeters, depending on the width of the panel ribbing. The laps must be sealed by torch and gone over with a trowel. Tech sound, because silence does not steal space.